Oh, come on guys, I have something I want to show you. It's just up here, follow me. Come on this way guys, follow me. It's just down here. Oh no. So it's just in here where we had a whole load of box hedging. It was going all along here, all the way up to there. And uh, these box hedging looked brilliant. They really did. They were growing brilliantly. They were, had lush growth. They just looked fantastic. But it was attacked by box caterpillar. Now the thing was, this box caterpillar just destroyed the whole box hedging. Can you believe that? The whole box hedging. And uh, we had to cut these down cut them down to well just bare stumps and really looking at them we thought well is there any point in keeping these stumps I mean are they going to grow back is there any health in them who knew so what I did whilst I was chopping these up putting them in the old uh, bags for the uh, rubbish collectors I thought I'm going to give it a go I'm going to see if I can take these stumps and grow them on as a little bonsai tree and that is exactly what I did. And so it was these that I potted up with the aim of trying to grow new branches and hopefully turn these into some little bonsai trees. So you can see we have a variety of different styles. We have this one here, kind of a straight trunk, low branches down here, a few branches up top. They are turning yellow, but then again, given what they've been going through, I think, you know, they've been through a lot of trauma, so um, it will take a bit of time before they recover, but they should grow okay, and hopefully they will recover. Uh, this one, great big chunky looking thing. You have a trunk here that must be all of an inch and a half, maybe two inches. A few little branches coming from the top. Big cuts, because that's where we cut it back, but, you know, it could, it could grow. Hopefully it will grow and uh, recover, and these will heal over in time. Box do take a while to heal. But, um, you, uh, you know, you, you work with what you get. Yeah, and uh, for a free little bonsai tree that I recovered from up the garden, it's not bad. It's good. Then, of course, we have this one here that I have quite a few stones holding this in place because I want this to lean. And what I found is if it didn't have the stones, it would keep on just falling over in the pot. And I'm not really a fan of wiring my trees into pots, so I just like to take these big hefty stones put them on there and this tree isn't going to go anywhere and that's just a, a good way of keeping this tree nice and firm in the pot until those roots develop and fill the pot and once they do this tree is going to be absolutely fine as we can see you know a lot of the leaves here are turning brown um, that is just the trauma that this tree has been through but hopefully this does recover and become quite a nice looking tree and then of course you have this one at the back here similar in size to the other one uh, maybe not quite as wide, maybe about an inch across. Interesting features. You can see some of the bark has been stripped away here from where we got this out of the ground. But what I like about these is look at this nabari. Look at these surface roots. Absolutely fantastic. And the thing is, that would take years to develop. So if these do recover, these are going to become some fantastic looking little box uh, bonsais. They really are. They do have to go through a fair amount of recovery. And uh, of course, you know, these did suffer from box caterpillar a lot of these branches were well destroyed but hopefully there's enough energy in this the new buds will develop and grow and we can get some more branches on this and it can become a little tree so yeah kind of a fun one for you guys today and uh, who would have thought you could turn a disaster into a good thing uh, hopefully from this uh, box caterpillar attack that we had i can turn these little stumps into some good little bonsais Anyway, thanks for joining me on this one. And as always, take it easy. Have a great day and I will catch you on the next one.